Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode 256 of the Honorable DJ Metal Monkey Radio Show. And today I have my guest, DJ Raya X. What it do, my G? Yeah. What it do? Yes. Oh, uh, Willie B just hit me up talking about, uh, do you, I think T.I. can fucking do comedy. I was like, oh, shit. So, you know, that's all that's been on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, now, if I would ask that motherfucking question, I mean, anybody can do it, really. Can't even, you can't even um limit T.I. to, you can't even say he can't do it. No, you can't. You can't really say, I mean, the thing about it is, okay, check it. He got on and did he he got on and did a couple shows already, which went uh, pretty they, they, they went pretty good. It's just the crowd have to adjust. Uh, to yeah, I'm listening to to listening to comedy from Ti because his mannerisms, his body yeah, sort of the same, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because they're not they're not used to him doing that. They're not used to him being up on stage like that. But I would say, like, f- from the movies that T.I. has ever been in, uh, he's pretty funny. Oh. I think he's funny. Mm. Like, I think he naturally is funny. It's just, like, he-, he would just have to be more consistent in being on stage doing stand-up, which is totally different. Stand-up is something totally different compared to, like, being fun, acting on a movie. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You already got your lines set up. You know what mm. I'm saying? And you got to memorize that shit. It's the same thing. Like, when he come up with his with his little jokes, he need to be able to, you know, remember that shit. And yeah. just, and I personally think, like, he can do it. You know what I'm saying? I think say- Cause we behave like animals in a cage. Mainstream media in a ray. FDA plus the USA They cast spells on the home of the brain Three Larry Hoover there for minimum wage And I can't vote for the games we play And I can't vote for a better place And a rat race pace ain't no time to pray Cause the spelling be spelling out the life we may Cherish the moment of a wonderful place Cause the bar ain't worried about the stakes today Cutting the grass ain't keeping them snakes away Only me and you can we the people only me and you can we the people. Only me and you can we the people. You uh like I guess like yeah, cause his delivery is still like, you know, it's TI delivery, you know, so and it's mm-hmm. like n- nobody never really heard that. So when I watched it, when uh Willie sent it to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, they he performed. Uh, Ti was it, it was Willie B's birthday. Well, I think he coming in right now. Mm-hmm. But um, he sent it to me, and I was like, you know, I don't know, mm-hmm. and it's kind of weird getting adjusted to seeing Ti like tell comedy. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that I would know- be that would be the same for a lot of a lot of um, yeah. you know, different people because if you're used to them doing what they normally do or what they, you know, started off as, then it would be something, You it would be like a wow factor to you because it's just like, oh, shit. It's what you're doing now? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I mean, like, what if Jay-Z started doing comedy? Yeah. Motherfuckers will probably turn head like... They gonna be wild, man. And that's how, I, man, that's how a lot of people probably felt about T.I., you know, doing what he doing, so... Yo, it's, was, it's just pe- people gotta get used to it you know what i'm saying yeah 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 they they gotta have to because like <clears throat> for one it's a genius idea for someone like ti because you look at it like he's already in like him and mike epps did the movie like every you know mm-hmm. he did some kind you know he, he's done acting you know and yeah. uh to the point to where we kind of understand his who he is yeah and then uh it's just got to grow on us. And one thing about it, he's going to It's the same it. thing. It's the same thing when we see them in movies. That shit had to grow on folks. Yeah, we we look at them like, hmm, that's T.I. 
That's just like mm-hmm. the first time when um fr- when Friday came out, right? Because right. rappers very seldomly before Friday, very seldomly you'll see a rapper or some something like that in a big role. But when right. Friday came out, <clears throat> mm-hmm. Ice Cube was like, you know what I'm saying? He started that shit. Like exactly. And then after mm-hmm. that, like you see rappers and everything, like more and more and more. And mm-hmm. and I think uh with T.I. and comedy, that's a good thing for him. I mean, I I, I think he mm-hmm. can do it. Uh, I have to hear more of his shit, but he's going to sell tickets. Mm-hmm. I wonder, what the hell going on with Willie B up in this motherfucker? You hear me, Willie B? Yeah. Oh, you do? Uh, yeah. I hear you in, I see you. Oh, you do? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I look like that. Hey, how, you, how you manage? How you manage you to sneak up in like this motherfucker though? You got me looking like the marshmallow man. Oh man! I, was, I ain't know what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was like, "Is Willie? What the hell is he doing?" What, what's my face at, man? What your face? Oh, uh, I'm looking for the. Uh, I think you got. Oh, now he turned his mic off. All right, now it's back. Yeah, he gotta turn his camera on. Uh oh, there it is. There it is. Here you come. There you What's go. On, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We got Willie B. Jr. in the house. <laughs> what it do? How you oh, feeling? No. I'm great. Um, I called I called DJ <laughs> and uh he was like he was like, What's up? when he called me back. And I was mm-hmm. talking about how you feel about T.I. He said, mm-hmm. hey, can you go live right quick? <laughs> <laughs> and nah. this I was already talking about it. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, so what you think? What I think? Yeah. Um, I think he the first comedian that got the money to do it. He do got right. the money. Because, <laughs> Because everybody else broke, man. <laughs> like he, he could travel around. He can go to. He been going to L.A. and Atlanta, and he get to skip the line because who he is. And that's. That, I wish I could do that. That's great. Like mm-hmm. I mean, Atlanta really don't know how I feel to get bumped. But I've been to L.A. before, and that happens every day. So it's nothing. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. You know, and I feel like. He could have been done it if he wanted to. Like he, he could have been transitioning to it. You can't do music forever. You can do comedy right. forever, though. Yes, you can. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's a yeah. You can do comedy until you retire. He just, I mean. he, just he just performed the Shake All Stars last night. So, I mean, that's how did, how do you think he song. did? I think he did well. I I seen him uh, at Cats Cafe. If you in the love, uh, you know, yeah, Cash cafe, but yeah, I saw him, I saw him there. Damn, he did pretty well. Okay. I, saw, See, I saw him at Monte Cello's too, but he that was my Monte Cello's was my first time seeing him. And he didn't do that well, mm. but he performed three nights a week. Damn, mm. so he grinded. He he, he yeah. jumped like he, he came yeah. out there on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shit, man, I, man, it's getting better. Yeah, it's, it's it's crazy, but I know that's what I say. He can sell tickets all day. I know he can sell tickets, like just because he's Ti. Exactly. The, the the being funny part, he got a lot of that in him because he got experience. No yeah, man? he got experience from you know being in films and you know being around certain people he's met. You well, know? just just being Ti, something got to be funny about that shit. Exactly. You know, like no, you know, you know who I think should do comedy. Who that? The Rock. The Rock. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I see the that. Rock funny though. I see that. You the Rock. Understand. He'd have He's to, naturally funny. Yeah, he would have to like, but but just like Ti, he'll be facing the same thing as Ti. You got to build up. Yeah, he, like, you got to start from the bottom. You got to you got to get up. us used to he, listening to him. You know what I'm saying? Tell comedy. But that's how Listen. it should be because they never started in that field. He, he, the Jabroni beat and Trailblazer. And now, by hey, every time he said it, I laugh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then what else made me laugh is he wouldn't have no problem with a heckler. 
Because right, he'll be right. like, he'll be like hey, 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 DJ, uh, what music are you finna play next? Right. Off That's top. what I'm just asking. Oh. Huh? Uh, what music are you finna play next? Uh, would you want me to say a, a song? It doesn't matter what you finna play next. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rock, man. Off top. Off top. Good, yeah, good bit. Good example, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? I didn't even know where that was going, but that shit hit. So, uh, <laughs> so she, uh, but yeah, like, yeah, the rock would be what the rock would, but like He's I said, very entertaining in general. The audience will still have to get like, just like Ti. I don't think nothing wrong with it. I think you know, uh, we just got to get used to watching him tell comedy, and I think I mean, it's I think it's good for him because he got a. He got an uphill battle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you see T.I. on stage, you see energy. But when he's yeah, doing exactly. comedy, he, he ain't going to see all the energy on comedy. Right. Yeah. And then comedy, man, it, it, <laughs> shit, it, it takes a lot to own that stage. But I think he can do it. I think he can do it. I think he's done enough to where, like, he'll find himself eventually in it. Uh, I, I could see a D.L. Hewley in, inside of him. Yeah, he just it, yeah he can do he it. He, just, like, yeah. he would just have to be like consistent. Just keep you know doing shows like he's doing now, and he'll get better. Now, yeah. hey, fuck that. Look, check it. Will it be? This is Ryan X, DJ Ryan X, and Ryan. This is Will it be? How you doing, Will it be? Nice to meet you. Nice I'm to good. meet nice you. Nice to meet. You. Um, yeah. So, uh. What was, can you tell that story about when you was talking, we, we had a conversation the other day about the monkey. Now, what happened that was in the zoo? Oh. What? Yeah. Monkey that died or um, something like that? I forgot the monkey name, but he was like uh, 60 something years old. Mm. Uh, I was like, Atlanta got the longest living creatures in the world. Now I heard about a turtle today. They had a big ass turtle in the Atlanta Zoo. He got the biggest shell in the world. Atlanta got some amazing creatures, man. But I think his name, what was his name? Uh, Fuck. Uh, what was that monkey name? Damn, I forgot. Oh, uh, shit. What was it? I got to look it up. Yeah, At I this forgot, point. Shit, 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 shit. He died like last month. Yeah, I know you call me. Oldest living gorilla. What? Yeah. This gorilla died. Oh, oh no. Atlanta. It happened last month, I believe. Ozzy. Mm. Ozzy. Yeah. Ozzy. Yeah, Ozzy. All right, like sixty something. Sixty one. Yeah. Yes, that's sixty one. Yes. Man, just imagine being a 61-year-old male gorilla, all the shit he's seen. Right. Like, that, that nigga... been through slavery. <laughs> <laughs> he, done, he done been through every goddamn thing. Man, man, the, man the, white, the white monkeys out back then. <laughs> Do you think... He had to go through it, man. Do you think Willie B slept with a human yet? I mean, not. I'm sorry. I'm talking about Ozzy. Do you think? Do you think Ozzy slept with a human? That's the weed. My bad. It feels a white chick. What? <laughs> <laughs> nah, they like to play around. <laughs> huh, let me play with your monkey. Let me, let me play with your monkey. That's just. just... But, yeah, uh, <laughs> if it, I agree, I agree. I fucking, I, I hate to say that shit, but we going down to the blaze together, Will. <laughs> hey, why What's so? Uh, why What's so nationality? It's black. Or... Um, I'm black. Puerto Rican and Colombia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Puerto Rican and Colombia. Yes, sir. You, you a crazy motherfucker. Oh my god! Here we go. <laughs> Yo, um, 
Well, it's told me I'm crazy off top. <laughs> you know, smoke that weed to calm down, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> tell him, Will. Tell him, Will. I'm crying. I bet, I bet you're cool. I bet you're real cool and adventurous, though. I'm pretty sure. Accurate. <laughs> Accurate. Yeah. He might be. I need a little shipment, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later. So, <laughs> right? Oh I'm crying. So, so check it. Uh, <laughs> that motherfucker crazy. I've been watching like the car. You just did another um, Uber skit. You was out in Nashville. Uh, oh, recently. man. Man, what, nah, man, what you they, was doing in they, Nashville? No, they can't see nothing. <laughs> oh. Mm. Yeah, I told him I ain't coming up though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. Nah, that. they uh nah they uh they had a they had a show in Atlanta, man. And I had, he, he told me and I, I met him out there and he wanted to do a skit before we left and they had no idea what they wanted to do and mm. they, they said, Well, we'll just do one next time we meet up and I was like, let's do the, let's do an Uber skit. And we did it like right then. <laughs> <laughs> and we kind of like, we didn't know what we were going to say to each other. We just kind of like fed off each other. Mm. Like, yeah, we just improv. So I kind of it worked like, out. It did work out. Exactly. I, I think I, I seen sh- it. I think I shared it also on the, uh, I don't know, like all of your sketches is dope. Like, uh, like the sketch that you were saying, man, don't. I don't know. I ain't put it up yet. And I put it up. Man, that, yeah. shit, that shit get hella reactions. I'm scared to put that video up. Man, man that shit live. That Why shit you gone. scared? <laughs> I think yeah, like... the, video, the video is like disrespecting to women, kind of. It's like, right. uh, man. I mean, no, I'm, just saying, I'm saying she just, it was her idea. It wasn't mine. It was her idea. I'm like, okay, let's That's do it. I... I did it. Mm hmm. And she wanted to, she dressed up like a little dog. And she wanted to be called a bitch. And she actually wanted a dog collar. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow, this girl is really, really she, out there. She, like, go, she going in for comedy. Yeah, she wanted a dog collar too. I was like, wow, like this is. And see you the know thing. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Well, I'm going to play, I'm going to play it. And, okay. uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we won't we won't actually see it until the end of the, but uh, I'm gonna play it. And let let everybody see it. I know I had it in one of my episodes. I I know I did. Unless you I did. just I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, but I shared it on social media. I, I, it, it's funny. It's funny that you brought that up. Cause I just I was just on the phone with somebody before you called me, and we were talking about that skit, and, mm-hmm. and he was telling me that don't let it be up to me. Just post it and let it be up to them. <laughs> don't worry about don't worry about what I think about it. Cause he said there's some real actors out here that play a movie role that they didn't want to play and they you know what I'm saying, but it ended up mm. being straight. So, you know, mm-hmm. I just I'm just gonna post them, man. It don't even matter no more. I've been good I've been, it, been good. Yeah, it don't matter. Post that shit. I've been getting good reactions from it. Shit funny is a motherfucker, like for real. And then it have your throat because you think it's just a you think it's something else. You think it's about to become a flick too. Right. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you start with oh yeah. shit. What's happening next? You know what I'm saying? Like it funny as a motherfucker though. Yeah. I don't know though, but I think that's the thing that just I think the times, the current times are kind of through a monkey wrench in comedy because of that. Because now we got we yeah. analyze so much because of the crowd now. Yeah. And it's just really because it's some motherfuckers out there with some type of an agenda. They they'll choose who to pick on for whatever reason. And they'll be like, oh, that's offensive. But then it's so much shit that fly. Like the Joe Rogan right. thing. Everybody uh, the Joe Rogan thing. That man uh just went through hell, but like he said that shit on the show 10, 11 years ago. Right. Ain't nobody said nothing this whole time. Ain't nobody said nothing nobody. until now. So I can't jump on that because I listen to Joe Rogan and really Patrice O'Neill used to live with the man. Like the, the, 
they trying to attack the shit out of him. I, I don't know. I don't think he should be able to say nigga like that. But shit, I don't even think I, I don't even think he should. I don't the way he put that shit, the way he was talking about it, once I watched the clips for his mm-hmm. entirety, I, I don't know. He just had it in a different context. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like he was like niggas, niggas, oh my niggas. It wasn't nothing like that. You, but you, you know, watch, but you know they're gonna make things big, bigger than what it is. Will it be? Did you did you check it out? I ain't saw it. You didn't? Yeah, man. It was some wild shit. I mean, I don't know. I, I saw think, the uh my bird. Oh no, no, I think they just throw like India Ari, I, I seen her get on the thing and she was like, I'm pulling my music to Spotify because of this. And I'm like, man, why do my only problem with this is for one is why if we gonna be offended people mm-hmm. then why right now why why not 10 11 years ago right why wouldn't five years ago why wouldn't two because, years ago because the laws have changed man they done made their own laws man where things are sensitive so right. you get in trouble Mm-hmm. Well, well, it could be that, or it could be that he had all those doctors on there debunking COVID, and then the he's he's don't he running that shit independent. That's it's, his show is just like it's an independent show. Like he ain't got no strings behind him, so somebody trying to control him, and that's the way they usually try to do. They just did they spell the same shit, right? I, you know what I'm saying? Like get offended. Man, you gotta stand up for yourself because shit comedy. If it was George Carlin, it ain't comedy if somebody get offended. Yeah, man. Comedy's supposed to offend somebody. Right. Like some people supposed to laugh, some people don't get offended. That's how you know you hit that shit on the head. <laughs> That's the point. Hey, right, I got a question. This might offend people. Do you know what the do you know what? Um, he all about that shit. Bund- you know what bundle of sticks mean? No. Bundle of what? Bundle of sticks. We. What does it mean? No, tell me. What? What, what is it? Put in your Google right quick. Put what? bundle of sticks. Bundle of you sticks. want me to put it in my Google? I'm gonna type uh, in yeah. "gay niggas from okay. outer space." All right, <laughs> I'm finna I'm, 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 I'm teaching you something new today. Bundle of sticks. This is class. Ty- this in class. Google. It's the class. <laughs> All right, let me see. In Google. This, Bundle this of meaning. sticks meaning. All right. Uh, let, let oh, see. it says a faggot in the meaning That's what of it bundle. Is. What? That's what it means. Faggot. <laughs> means faggot. <laughs> and, then, and guess what? It makes sense. <laughs> bundle of sticks. What is a bundle of sticks called? It says a homo action to be considered gay or to be considered a fag. How, how the fuck do you know this? It says if like, I get <laughs> here, wait, wait, wait. I'ma use it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say the example though. The Yo, example funny to the motherfucker. Shout out my dog Willie B, man. Like, check it. He be doing some shit well, that you never think about. That's like even the monkey Ozzy. I ain't know man. Look, he made my morning with that shit too, but. I wouldn't even think in that direction at all in life. Like <laughs> he be knowing facts and shit that I that how would you know this shit? Sometimes called a short faggot, a faggot of sticks equals a bundle so, of wood sticks. <laughs> so imagine if you was in the woods and you need <laughs> some faggots and <laughs> I'm gonna get some faggots right quick. Hold on, what? Don't be bringing that back. You finna get what? I'm going to get some wood. I'm going to get some wood. I don't want that wood. Fucking shit. I'm getting a bundle of sticks, man. You finna start the fire. Fuck no, man. I'm Man, yo, this shit is the wildest Google search. I'm I'm just looking at it, and they got this, uh, they got this little, a picture of a little dude. Is that a dude or a woman? Uh, and they got a bunch of sticks. Oh, it's a woman with a bundle of sticks on her back. Man, this shit crazy. <laughs> That's called a train, man. Fuck. <laughs> God damn. 
Why are you performing that? Right, um, we get out. Um, right now, I ain't got no shows right now. I got one in April, uh, April first and second, but it's in it's in Chattanooga at the Comedy Pitch. Oh shit, that's the shit. Mm. We we need to go. I'm telling you, man. I love chat, man. Yeah, I'm, I love I'm Chattanooga. You just give me a date, man. I gotta get a uh, room. I'm right? there. What the first and second Friday and Saturday. So. Okay, it man. I love to go up to chat, man, and chill. I gotta book me a room out there. Get an Airbnb. I stayed in a dope ass Airbnb uh, last year, around that time too. I think April, what you taking a little break, man, for right now? Huh? So you taking a break uh right now? Uh not really. I'm just like I don't I don't when it, the winter time, bro, I'm, I'm, <laughs> like like <laughs> I don't we, like getting out, bro. Like we dark just, skin. Yeah, like November, December, December, rough month, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't even perform. But in January, I crank back up. But, you know, I'll be warming. I'll be trying to go to new places. I don't want to go back to the same one. Right. You know, I'm, I'm trying to go to Dallas now. I'm trying to go to, you know, places I ain't been. Yeah. I, I, I send my video. I send my information to Dallas. Um, I may be I may be at the punchline on the 20th. Uh, you okay. know, Keenan Thompson coming doing that 360 comedy thing. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting to hear back to see if I got. I'm waiting to hear back and see if I got. So if I do a showcase, if I get picked that night, I get to go to New York and perform at Caroline's. A free flight, free room. Then I think you get to go to Saturday Night Live too. Check it out. So, oh shit. That's gonna be on the 20th if I get told. Yeah. All right. Well, if you, you'll get chose, Will. I ain't gonna lie, man. You want you, you my favorite. Ain't no one of my favorites. You my favorite. Fuck it. Yeah, but I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't send no comedy video. I had to tell them why. I had to make a video and explain why I wanted to be there. So oh, oh, they'll see my comedy when I get there. Yeah, yeah it's so right. wild. It's so weird how they do these things and shit, man. Uh, you know, it's it, it's just weird. Like, who's screening this shit? Like, who's looking? You know what I'm saying? If you didn't have a, you know what I'm saying? If you couldn't do a video, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's actually, like, going through this stuff and saying, you know? I don't know, man. Like, I know I was getting ready to come to your show on my birthday. I ended up uh, taking some shrooms and never made it. Uh, I remember. Yeah. I was, a, I, was me. I think he called me one day. He like a show today. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was gonna be out there, man, but my birthday hit because we was talking the night before my birthday about d- different places and all this stuff. And I was like, nah, I'm going to this show. And then boom. Um I was like, yo, I'm gonna take some mushrooms. About a little bit after we talked on the phone. And then like uh, I was like, wow. So yeah, man, how was that though? Speaking, uh you performed speaking of birthdays. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, you performed out there in the park. Uh, oh man. Was it freezing? The the dog park? Yeah, the dog park. I'm, you know what? I'm glad you didn't come, man. Why you say that? It was, was kind of freezing out there, man. I, I couldn't man. take it. Like uh they had the heaters on, they had little heaters on. Mm-hmm. And and where where the comedians was at, the heaters didn't work. So I'm like, damn. But everybody sitting damn. down was by some heat. And there were dogs running everywhere. <laughs> so you might step in some pee or some poop. <laughs> I didn't know the not wear those shoes that I had on. So I'm glad I wasn't like all the way fresh, but <laughs> I was uh, trying to not make some shoes. And, you know, and while I'm performing, this dog's just running around like it's they they free to roam around. I I was like, nah, I don't like this shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah, glad yeah. you ain't make it to that one. You know how niggas it like if I was out that bitch and this dog's running around, you know how black folks is, man. Get your dog, man. Get your dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. But all the dogs were friendly though. They weren't like mean, man. You know. They was all I, saw, I saw someone humping out there. I was like, oh, 
<laughs> no. <laughs> they start talking something. Yeah. Oh, Somebody like, get off my dog, get off my dog. Like, you can't have <laughs> a mixed breed, man. No, you can't. Let me go to your Instagram real fast, man. Let's see. Let's Speaking see. of birthdays, man, I got an interesting story. Oh, when was your birthday? Will it be? Happy, to happen on my birthday. Happy late birthday. Yeah, happy uh, late birthday. It was thanks. It was January twenty second. Oh, oh, what just happened? Shit, let's go. This, uh, hold on. Let me see. You cut out. You know you had. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, he cut out. He, he back in, but uh. Damn. Oh. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, he doing it. it this is new wrestling uh, intro. Like, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> if you smile. <laughs> hey, look, man. <laughs> Listen. Macho man Randy Savage would have fucked the rock up, man, in his pri- in their primes. Yeah, Macho. Come on, man. What's my phone call? <laughs> Let me see. Damn, they actually what about got a Stone Cold. Stone Cold? Yeah. That would have been a good match. That would have been perfect. Perfect. I, I can't yeah. even call it. I can't even call a winner. I don't even know who I want to come out winning in that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a perfect match. Like, Unless, unless you want to go back in the days of Roddy Piper, then Roddy Piper, I would put him on Stone Cold too. Yeah, he was pretty good. Yeah, but that would be just they personalities together. That that'll be nuts. Roddy Piper and Stone Cold, or even Macho Man and Stone Cold. But then, in the long run, I really, really know how it would turn out. Stone Cold would win that. But with Roddy Piper, I don't know. Roddy, Roddy Piper, shit. Anyway, man, what's up with this Mamba mentality? You be drinking those, um, I forgot what the name of those drinks are. The armor body. Body armor, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said armor body. <laughs> that shit. Yeah. I was drinking them. pretty good, man. I was liking them. <laughs> I was drinking them for a while, and then, you know, it's just like anything else. I drank for a while. I just, I stopped drinking it. It's just like something you, about You're not consistent. Oh, I'm not a consistent consumer, man. <laughs> yeah, he, I'm drinking this like, encore water. I, I got some of that Walmart shit up in there too. You know what I'm you saying? You know what you are consistent in though? What? <laughs> These videos, man. Oh man, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Man, they battle, man. Like all right, back in the days when we I just had a uh show I did the other morning. Oh, I murdered the radio or something like that. But like for real, that's what we're here to do because for so long, media was controlled by like the 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 big heads, and we had to do all kinds of stupid shit to get in, right? To get our song played, anything. So then now we can. Oh, trust I, me. Yeah, I used to do music. I know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So now I it, it, yeah, and you did do music. So it's like. Now you look at it like, damn, if I was doing it right now in this era, it would be way easier because now I can do what I wanted to do versus back then you couldn't. So now I'm like, fuck the radio. We playing songs, we got a platform and we're going to use it. And we don't need to hook up with a bunch of big old stars to, no, just create a buzz. It's, It's all about the people. You get the people, man. It don't matter if it's two, three thousand. That's right. a lot of fucking people. If you if you exactly. doing a, if you doing a stage performance, that's a bunch of people. So that's a lot of people. That's what I like about time because depending on what area, what era you in, back then you might have it harder, but now it's getting easier because back then it was like you had to be on TV, commercial, a movie to get recognized. Right. Now you can make yourself recognized. You don't you don't need nobody no more. Like you said, like right. it, it's it's up to you now. You know what I'm saying? So yep. it, it's good. Like I remember, I remember when 
I remember when Facebook first came out with the uh, the video, right? Yeah. A self video, right? How you recording now? And some people just needed to not be on there. <laughs> there was on about thirty minutes to an hour, just talking, not doing that. Don't know how to call the camera, none of that. Like, I'm like, oh my god, they should have never done this. You was like, then, oh, Instagram not, no. Got smart. <laughs> yeah, Instagram was smart though. They did like a one minute, a fifteen second thing or something like that, and then right, all the way to right. one yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had to be talented in fifteen seconds. You know right. what I mean? Yep. So. Yep. <laughs> you damn so right. Hey, look, will it be? Hey, you said this one? I'm not a bullshit, man. What the hell is this knocking like the police? <laughs> Bro, what's wrong with your bitch, man? No bitch, man. We, you got something here? No, I ain't. Bro, put your arm in there, man. I'm just right here. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, bingo, huh? What you got to say now, huh? All right, move, 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 bitch. I need y'all to get out of my room, man. With this dog, then, if you stay. <laughs> I like this dog. Never had a dog before. Oh, you... You, you, you thirsty for sure? <laughs> huh? Oh, <laughs> Thought you wanted a little thing. <laughs> oh, I'll get you some to drink. We'll get you. We'll get you hydrated. Okay, we'll get you hydrated, buddy. <clears throat> Had a little bitch like that. Hey, what the hell you doing, my bitch? Police, bitch, let's go. Hey man, hey man, hey man. Huh? Take the weed. Lead a bitch. Take the what? Lead a huh? Take the weed. Lead whole I can't do that. But if you give me some info, I give you 30 minutes. I got you. I got buddy on speed dial. He live up there in eight room 18025. Okay. All right. Weed all through there, bro. Cool. Man. Weed all through there, hey, man. Hey, have fun, all right? Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, and we back. <laughs> yeah, the commercial break. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly how this should be. And we back. I got some gummy bears. Man, these motherfuckers are so bad for your teeth. But you still eating them. Oh, fucking you shit. <laughs> I don't know what I want to eat for dinner, man. I don't know. I know these gummy bears good, right? They like last them. Um hey, you remember these? You remember these? What's that? The chili cheese fries. Oh man, them the shit is good, bro. What? Hey, look, look, look. It's my fries, punk. <laughs> I don't want your shit, man. <laughs> yo, that shit was yo, when I was in, on them. Yeah, when I was in school, <laughs> that was some cheese on it. I mean with some chili on it. Oh man. A uh, chili and cheese. You finna fuck your stomach up. Man. <laughs> man, your it's stomach be hell, fucked up after you do the, eat it all it's that. Hell, it? You know, motherfuckers. <laughs> they good like right now I got the munchies. I would tear that shit up. Oh hell yeah, oh. on a good day. So have you ever been vegan, uh Will? Yeah, for two days. <laughs> that's it. Yo, this that's it. Hey. Hey, that's that's it. That motherfucker. Damn. Took, Yo, man. That, listen. Man, what happened? I tried it. That shit was too expensive, man. I can't. <laughs> I'm like, damn. That's the really I shit. Like I say, hey, man, I like I say, I got to save us money. To, I got to save money to be vegan. <laughs> hey, damn. Yo, that I'm shit. I might as well just eat the regular shit. He said the real. <laughs> yeah. That was the realest shit you could possibly say, cause that's For that's real. That's, that's really shit. what it is. Like I, everybody knows. I it. wanna, I wanna be vegan so bad though. It just when when somebody tell me that, I'm like, okay, they got a little money. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that means. That's <laughs> that's some real shit though. That yeah, is that's so what your true, brain. Man. That's what, you know what the fuck. Yeah, that's just real time. 
Shit. I look at I look at how they dress, how they talk. I'm like, okay. Oh, <laughs> when I go to a vegan I, I see spot, how you when I go to a vegan spot, though, <laughs> this is how I found out. When I go to a vegan spot, I look at everybody there, and everybody do not look like me. I mean, they just they dress different, <laughs> so they talk crazy. different, they act different. It look like they think different. They drive a different car. <laughs> you know. <what> <laughs> I seen you posted on Instagram. What does are you alone? You won't last 30 seconds while playing this game. Oh. <laughs> yo, man, I was right yo, here, that was yo. the wildest shit in the fucking world. I was like, oh my God, this nigga snap. Oh hey, man. Snap. Why, why you snap like that? Like, Listen, man. Sometimes I push the envelope, you know, I'm not. I'm not scared to push words, but you know the video is a little different. But <laughs> I don't want right. to. I don't want to get kicked off of Facebook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. he, he like, hold on, let, let, let me let, let me slow down a little bit. That shit is crazy, man. But look, look what I posted today, though. Look what I posted today. If you saw it, um, let me see. Uh, I was on your Instagram. Let me go to uh, your Facebook. Uh, let me see. Uh, there we go. What you got? Hello? Hey, I'm trying to reach uh, Travis. Yeah, Travis. Hey, Travis, check us out, man. This kid is out. I uh, want to reach out to you, man. Hey, man, do you know what you're getting, uh, what you're getting your girl Diane for, uh, for Valentine? I want to make sure we don't get the same thing. What was this? This kid. You want to uh, make sure that we don't get the same thing for my girl? Why yeah. oh, you know my girl? Wow. <laughs> Yo, that shit crazy as a motherfucker. Everybody going viral off sex videos. I'm about to upload my story in a minute. <laughs> so you seen the Nelly shit? Oh, I seen Nelly. Well, I ain't watch it, but uh, Nelly, Lil Fizz, and uh, Isaiah Rashad. Yeah. Hey, yo, how how did that shit just happen? Like all of a sudden, so For close real? to each other, just all of a sudden. I believe, I believe it's a, it's like a planned out, like, like when something going on in the world, like the, um, first it was the Joe Biden giving out the crack pipes, and then. Right, right. I heard so about, about that. that. I, don't, I don't know. I heard about tell that. Tell about that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, uh, I saw it, but I thought it was fake. I was like, oh, that's fake. I ain't, I ain't fucking with it. So the next day I woke up, I saw it again on another, on another, it was on New York Post. I was like, oh, it's real. So <laughs> he funding him, his administration mm. had, was funding $30 million to give out safe crack pipes. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow. Like for real, this is like, what we doing? Man, are y'all spending my tax dollars to oh, give some out crack pipes? Why didn't they just give the the black community thirty million dollars? And I started right. thinking about like how you get qualified for that shit, like right, like some stimulus shit. You know what man. I mean? Shout out to all the people who voted for Joe Biden, man. <laughs> for real, man, damn. Oh, oh like, y'all. <laughs> That's it unheard of, man. You trying to encourage people to stay on it? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, hey, he put it out there. I mean, basically in the 80s, they put they gave it to the hood. And then in the 90s, he said he don't give a shit. Like, let's get those people off the street. And then yeah. now he's giving out crack pipes. He like right. well, they still own it. And um it's a pattern. And um the answer the answer to your question, like it, it transferred from that. And, and people kind of forgot about the Joe Biden thing when the Nelly thing came out. 
<laughs> right. his head on the video. And then, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then after that, little Fizz was doing something. He gets her head too, I think. And uh, <laughs> after that, Isaiah Rashad was giving the head. And I, I was like, what the fuck? Like, somebody sent me the video, but I ain't hit play. Because on the screen, it was Isaiah with a dick in his mouth. And I'm like, oh, shit. No. So what the play. fuck? So and he was getting he was getting head from two other guys. So I, I was like, what the fuck? No. And then way. and then after that, after that, the little baby fight happened. Uh, uh the baby. Yeah, the baby. The and, well, yeah. So people some... kinda people kind of forgot about that incident for a second. Right. So everything, everything that happened, like if something happened in the morning, somebody gonna kind of forget about what happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think one story will get blowed up to the point to where uh, we we don't forgot about the Joe Biden thing back to that. You know what I'm saying? We forgot about that. Right. Which is the big thing is like, what the fuck are you doing? And then you got like 10 more sub things that's going on. Exactly. And every different culture to where it's going to get their attention in the news. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what I, happens is, oh, go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. I, was, uh, I believe, I believe it's set up to like that. Like, let's pick these two people to pick on right now, and y'all post right. on so y'all can be in the news like right quick, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to distract people. There ain't no way what that shit gonna happen at the same happened. time, bro. Ain't no way, ain't no way me and DJ, ain't, ain't no way that me, you, and and Raya drop the same fucking video in the same day. Man. Exactly. It's just crazy. Like how? That's what how I how like, the fuck? How the fuck? How? Like who's putting money behind this shit? Exactly. Cause I watched the baby fight like in every angle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. <laughs> yeah, um, he had knocked on um, what's the name? Drank out his hand. He ain't he missed. He ain't punched him. That fight was sort of weak. It was. He got dragged out by security. By his yeah, security. He grabbed dude, That's what happened. He grabbed dude by his he grabbed dude by his hair, man. Yeah. You see him with hair trying to sling him like that's what women do, man. Mm-hmm. I was kind of, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, what? Is that what crazy? And then then the boy had no chance of winning because his whole security team had was jumping him. So mm-hmm. I don't know. It they mm-hmm. it, it Mm-hmm. With that one, I know one thing. All this shit ain't. Just I didn't happening. even know that was in security. I didn't know. I didn't even know that was in security. I thought yeah. it was just people who were. Nah, that was the baby's security. Oh, and then the baby dropped a freestyle on on the LA leakers. I'm like, yeah, I seen that. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. That's what I'm saying. Like right after the fact, that's some publicity shit. Mm-hmm. I believe. I mean, it now it could be true. It could be like really, really, really. See, see what happened. The guy that he was fighting was that uh, his baby mama brother. Yeah. You know, the baby had a baby by the light. Oh shit! That, yeah. Um, D- Danny Lee. Yeah, that's her brother. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And he gained. He wanted to talk to baby like a man. But he took it the wrong way, so that's how the fight started. He wanted to talk to the baby one on one, but he didn't want to, I guess. But it was a good right. opportunity to whoop his ass and get on TMZ real fast. Yeah. Yeah. Especially since he's about to go drop this freestyle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he probably actually, honestly, I believe he might have dropped the freestyle the day before. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. You know how they, and they just released yeah. it. Yeah, mm-hmm. but but when some some drama like that hit the internet, that still that that boosts all of their social accounts, uh, streams, yeah. all of that shit. Mm-hmm. Which, like I'm saying, Nelly didn't drop that video. Isaiah Rashad, damn dude, Isaiah Rashad, man. And Nelly, That's and crazy. Nelly, he um, and Nelly, he um. You know, Nelly on the real hustle of Hollywood. They were just came yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I guess that shit got boosted up. I don't know. Yeah, uh, views went up. <laughs> so yeah, Isaiah, I'm disappointed in that nigga. Yo, man, really, really. <sighs> oh 
my and he God. From, and, and he from Chad, man. That shit. Uh, he from Chattanooga? Yeah. Oh, son. Yeah, That's my little town, man. Oh, well, I don't know, man. <laughs> I know, <laughs> all I know is I'm going to get me an Airbnb uh, um, in Chattanooga when you go out there and perform, man, because I, I, it's that time I need to go to Chattanooga or Nashville right about now just to chill and relax. Tennessee got some new plates, man. They got some new license plates. Oh, they shit. They blue. They look like the Tennessee Titan color. Oh, they everybody look like a state trooper now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 you ain't got the state trooper tag. See, Tennessee got this little thing. Uh, I know Nashville do when I was living out there. They got this little thing to where, like, they do certain specific things. So, where if you come from out of town, they can spot you real fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, with their tags and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I was coming out of Jacksonville, Florida. I was staying out there for some years. And I went to uh, Nashville. And uh, when I got up there, the tax was in the window when I was in Florida. Like, we have our tag in the window. Man, that, that got you, got me pulled over as soon as I crossed, uh, crossed like, Davidson. I think it was Davidson uh, County line. Like, it was over there. Yeah. As yeah. soon as I got in there, boom. I was like, damn. They was like, yeah, we have our tags down here on the, where it goes. And I was like, oh, fuck. Mm, mm, mm. Ticket. <laughs> damn. Yeah, man. Shit, they got some laws up there. I didn't know Isaiah Rashad did that. That shit kind of blowed me, man. That, that's right. That's fucking wild. Cause like out of the Nelly thing, all of that shit. That's that's great. But damn, dude, how did a video of you doing that? What a hell of a, out. What a hell of a way to come out the closet. Right. That's some shit like um. That's worse than uh, <laughs> old town road, man. <laughs> at least he said it. Yeah, he yeah said at least he outright. At least he outright told everybody. That's why I never could really, really, really get on. The... You know what's so? You know what's so crazy though? You remember? What? You remember? I forgot dude's name. Old Town Road. I forgot his name. Little Nas X. Yeah. Before mm-hmm. I found out he was gay, nigga, I was bumping that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hey, bro. Hey, look, people at the uh, was, high school, you and you were bumping that shit. Like, I like, oh, I was like, oh, oh shit! Hey, look, I saw the video. I saw the, the video came out. The video was hard. It had Chris Rock. It had uh, Ha Ha Davis on there. Uh, I'm like, yeah, that shit funny. And then when I found out, I'm like, damn, he talking about riding a dude on the video, man. Right. And, and it's like Frank Ocean, man. He when Frank Ocean came out, he was yeah. like, uh, yeah. I listened to the song. I listened to the song again. He said, a new feel. I ain't never talking about me. I thought I was talking about like a woman. Like, oh <laughs> no, my God, no. Man. <laughs> hey, man. That's when you listen real- to the song, you listen to the song again, you'll be like, okay, when you first hear it, you think you're talking about a woman. He said, a new feel. I never, uh, and then, you listen to it after you find out he gay, you be like, oh, you talking about a dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're like, oh, <laughs> shit. Hey, look, but you got, but but it's still art and you still got a, in your head. If you're talking about a dude, then you switch it to a girl in your head and just keep on with the lyrics. But it's kind of creepy if you like me too. Yeah, yeah. We straight men, man. So it, it ain't like, I don't know, man. I like Frank Ocean music until. Like it started sounding the same, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like it was he, yeah. Frank Ocean. He got a good ass voice and shit, but yeah, that shit. he got some good music though. Just... He 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 has some. Well, with Lil Nas X, I, I didn't. I never really not. I knew he was pushing the limits of whatever the fuck he can do these days, but um, he never. He said he was gay, so like I mean that's all right. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. he wouldn't. He wouldn't like yeah. faking it. I mean. Nah, what, he wasn't faking it when he made that jail video. For sure you know what yeah. I'm saying? So shit, you know, even when he was the devil and all that shit, I mean, I've seen rock groups. I mean, you got guys who bite heads off of pigeons. You, I, I forgot what this one dude name is. He a real legend, but he's a throw up on the crowd and piss on the crowd and shit like that. I mean, it's, mm. 
Yeah, uh, Lil Uzi Vert uh, say he channeled his energy and shit like that and got it from him, and I forgot what his name was. Damn. I've just seen a woman in Florida piss on somebody on stage. Seen that shit? Yeah, I seen that shit too, man. What? Yeah. Like a few months ago. I seen that shit too. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck going on? What the fuck is this? Like, wow. So it's a lot of stuff going on, and we'll choose to pick whatever uh, the media say, hey, do it. Because they try to get a certain group, just how, like, we was, everybody was uh, marching and, you know, they burnt down Wendy's and all of that mm-hmm. stuff. Yo, it's for a good cause, but it's shit that happened every day if you really want to point something out. For real. In, in, in the black community that, we should be burning our Wendy's every fucking day. Like, what the fuck? You know? Well, I'll tell you this. If the Rams lose in L.A., there'll <laughs> be some Wendy's burnt down that motherfucker. Man, what? <laughs> yeah. what? I can't believe they got to the Super Bowl, man. Like, neither one of them. I, I was going for... I, I'm a Patriots fan, but I was going for Brady to get to the Super Bowl because we got blew out uh, by uh, Buffalo. Damn, he retired. And, uh... Chill, yeah, we just got blew out in the first round. I'm happy we made it, but shit. And Brady, he just, I don't know what the fuck he did. Oh, man, I hope he come back. Yeah. <laughs> Football ain't gonna be shit. Know, <laughs> man. That motherfucker beat my team in, 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 in overtime, man. Shit. Who you go for? The Falcons. Oh, oh, so oh come on, nigga! Man. Let me tell you, like, dude, everybody beat the Falcons. The first half of the Super Bowl, I'm like, oh, gonna win, y'all. People went to sleep and everything, man. And then the the third and fourth quarter, people woke up. I'm looking at TV. I'm I'm shook. I'm I'm stuck. I'm I don't know who's gonna win now. And Brady came out. And went to overtime and we lost. I'm like, what the fuck? And fucking. <laughs> and you know what, though? I'm going to tell you something, though. Like, because everybody. You should have seen YouTube. I watched YouTube. I saw everybody reaction. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> they was... had live reactions. They knew the Falcons was going to win, bro. Yeah. Everybody. All right. I seen 2 Chain, T.I. I seen. You should have looked at Bow Wow reaction. How man. he was talking about, oh, yo, y'all like shit. And then at the end, he was like, he ain't like nothing. You just just blow because we've seen Brady do this all the the past two years. Uh, Brady fourth his comebacks are just ridiculous. I knew it. The Can- was it Kansas City? Uh, I don't know. He had so many of them. Like seriously, like he's I'm talking ca- about the playoffs this year. Was it Kansas City that he almost beat this time? It reminded me of the Falcons game. Uh, it was no, it was in Kansas City. Damn, what? Because they were he was, they were down three to twenty something, and this I game all the way they back just came back. Um, yeah, yeah, it was it was not. Hold on. Uh, let me see, Bucks. And it's a damn shame because if I didn't smoke, I would know. But I'm high as a motherfucker. It was they they played the Rams. Yeah, yeah, it was the Rams. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they came, yeah, they came back. They they came back and tied it because I was talking and I was like, oh man, it's two minutes left. Brady is not about to just, it ain't about to be like that. He came right. back and tied it, and the Rams went down and kicked a field goal. Exactly. So they defense, mm. really, the defense, I mean, he couldn't go out there and play defense. Yeah. Nope. And that week, all three teams won by a field goal. Yep. So they at the same, yeah. You can look at the That's time. True. I think you sent me that. Uh, you posted that or something like that. Yeah. Look, I was looking at the times, like the four fourteens, and I was like, "Hey, I, when it comes to football, I just got to say coincidence because it's a way to throw a game, but you got to actually think about it, man. These motherfuckers out there, they you can think that throw a game shit. You go out there on that field, they gonna knock your ass out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like. That. <laughs> This motherfucker's getting hit like at all times. So somebody throwing the game, it gotta be the coach if anybody or or like setting it up because that's too too much contact. Right. Like it's too much contact to just, you know, like in basketball, Westbrook, he he looked like he's trying to throw some games. You know what I'm saying? Who's like, gonna, 
Who are you playing for, man? Uh, L.A. But uh, he no, nah, they they talking about he leaving L.A. Yeah, they probably they need to, they probably need to get rid of her because I mean he just he went from being an all star to just like doing shit out there. I don't know what he doing. Like he just doing shit. They talking yeah. about trading. Yeah, yeah, they they just made some trades. I don't, I don't know when the trade deadline is, but they just made some trades. Uh, no, um, James Harden and uh, uh, what's that light skinned dude name? Uh, Ben Simmons. They got tra- they they switched up. Shit like that. Sports mm-hmm. is weird though. I don't think I don't think the games get really thrown like individual players do certain shit. Uh coaches do certain shit, but like I don't think as a whole the game can just really get thrown. Because if you're trying to lose a game, what if the other team all got hangovers and they just suck bad as a motherfucker? Still can you can't throw that game even if you try. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that could happen. But anyway, man, it's like, so what's up with um? You've been uh Midtown. Uh, what's the uh, name of that place? Shit. Vortex Liverpool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I went in January, but I had like, I did a Friday. No, I did. Two Saturday and one Sunday. Mm. Mm. Damn. I hosted one of them on the Saturday. I hosted the late show. Oh, that's the shit. Right. That late that show was kind of dope. Yeah, that late that show was kind of dope. Bro. Hell yeah. yeah. So the, the Lavish Squad got a new thing where they got to stop doing comedy at a certain time because the Vortex is about to close a little earlier. So mm. I think they close at 12 o'clock. So they got to be done by. 11, 11, 30. Wow. Like mm. Damn, I wonder why they doing that. I don't know. That's some crazy shit. It is crazy. Right. You would think Atlanta would be a 24-hour place, but really, right. that shit shut down. Like, shit be shut down. Like, 10, 11 o'clock, 12 yep. o'clock sometimes. I mean, but then you might go out on a Tuesday night and be out all night just at this one specific spot, though. That's the thing about Atlanta. Uh, they don't have any overnight shits uh, too much. I mean, they got a couple, but... I don't it's know. crazy that the Super Bowl in L.A., but everything closed at 2 o'clock. Right. Yeah, yeah. But, but, no, but when they, uh, the Super Bowl, they might stay open because a lot of people don't know. The people going to override right. that shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, people going... Like even if shit closed, people are gonna be somewhere, and there's gonna be parties everywhere. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wish Atlanta had a Super Bowl this year or something. Like, shit. Uh, it's almost concert season. I want them, I wonder what they're gonna do. Uh, like with Live Nation and all of those people. I wonder uh, how these concerts gonna go. That's what I, that's what I'm looking at. Because mm-hmm. because of COVID and because of the new Omicron shit. Right. Man. So, man, shoot. I don't know. Uh, thank you for coming out here, man. Like, I mean, and hollering at me. Because when you called, I was like, yo, man, I need him on the damn show, man. Because shit, there's a lot of shit to talk about. And I am already was doing, I was getting ready to do an interview. Uh, it was uh, an interview with uh, two artists. And I was like, Shit, I looked over there, you hit me up on the phone, and boom. So, this, you know what I'm saying? So, it's two, episode 256. That's how I got created. But, uh, yeah, yeah, you big boy, your spot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess it happened at the right time, man. You know, it happened at the right time. Man, I see you got a Marvel shirt on, man. You like Marvel over DC Comics? I like both. Yeah, I ain't picky, man. I'm I'm like gonna see Batman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> what, you know? <laughs> what's your favorite wrestler of all time? That shit hard. My favorite wrestler? Yeah. Oh, uh, all time. All time, man. Ooh, okay. You... Mm. I believe I like Stone Cold. I watch a lot of his videos all the time, though. But I like I like how he 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 the only person that did some. 
different. Like he had the car, he running over cars, he fighting at the grocery store. He he do what he want. He he come out. He you know whatever he feel like doing, he do it. Like he yeah. just he, he got the catchphrases. I mean, <laughs> uh, he's just a a bad dude. And I I used to like Goldberg too because he was undefeated. Oh. You know. Yeah. I mean, I, I see. Goldberg. I, was. I got I got some. Yeah, I mean, mm. like I said earlier, I like the rock. You know. Yeah. Yeah, the rock is the rock was a motherfucker. He was like the people's people. You know, my uh all time favorite is uh Hulk Hogan though. You know, like mm-hmm. nobody did it like him to me. You know, oh. he, he he slammed Andre the Giant. <laughs> uh yeah. Like he was just a motherfucker. Like he he ripping off shirts and shit. Like wasn't nobody <laughs> ripping off no damn shirts until that man started ripping off shirts. <laughs> shit. Yeah. I don't but um, yeah, man. Like, so uh, did you see the uh? And because I'm a, I'm gonna end the show out. It's gonna cut me off pretty soon anyway. But um, did you see the uh Booker T when he was on there talking to uh, I forgot who he was talking to. He said nigga, <laughs> talking to uh Hulk Hogan. That's who he was talking to on his little uh press. Did Hulk Hogan get banned from WWE because of that? I don't know. Mm. But no, uh, but I know Booker T called him a nigga. No. <laughs> Booker T yeah, called um, him a nigga. I don't remember that. Don't yeah, know. man, that shit crazy as a motherfucker. I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna try to pull that video up. I mean, white people niggas too. So. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, that's you right. When I say niggas, that's what I mean. It's just, just the motherfucker. It just whoever yeah. you think of in your head. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that word has came so damn far to where like man, it's a regional thing. It's a I don't give a fuck about it. It's just a words. It's just some fucking words put together. Fat Joe and you know uh Big Pond or uh, uh Noriega. It's just like really they all say it in the world as as black Americans, like we 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 have our own like little little things like that we need to just like expand our mind to the rest of the world and see like the world is a big scale, not just this corner of the United States. And then mm-hmm. I think we, we wouldn't be so sensitive because I do think black folks are sensitive because the mm-hmm. shit we supposed to fight for, we don't fight for it. And then somebody say something, then we get, we start, we start marching in all kinds of shit when somebody just say mm-hmm. something. But if somebody right. do something, we ain't gonna do shit. I'm like, I'm bringing something up. Backwards as that well. marching, that marching don't even work, man. Like for real, it, it, it was for it no only reason. worked. I believe, I believe it worked with George Floyd. Uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, George, George Floyd. Floyd. Yeah, George. Floyd. It worked with him, and that's on time. I think it worked, but I feel like instead of March, well, maybe it worked with Amar, the guy that got killed in uh, Bushwick. Yeah, yeah, right. Robert. But I feel like. The way it's going to work is black people need to economics, you know, we need money to exactly control. Because if you got money, you you, can, you you got a little power, you can control stuff better than marching with no money. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because marching ain't going to do nothing but get a lot of people arrested and right. uh, angry, and that's about it. But when it comes to passing the law, it ain't gonna do a damn thing when it comes to buying property. It ain't gonna do a damn thing because if you don't own the property, if you don't own the block, shit, you just marching, you you trespassing, you right? Know? Yeah. So like, it, it just never worked for me. I always think my answer. You, <clears throat> go ahead. And, and you stealing all this stuff out the stores and breaking the glass and setting it on fire. These people got insurance, man. <laughs> they getting it back. Yeah. Like so you just point? wait, you <laughs> waste it. Your goddamn time. <laughs> they, yeah. they, they gonna you ball. Them yeah, you they got them the money richer, to man. fix that shit anyway. He said, he said it right. You just made them richer. Let's right. start another riot, man. <laughs> <laughs> Black people need to get some money and own some shit, man. You right. You damn right. Sure right. Hell yeah, man, ladies and gentlemen, this is episode 150, I mean 256 of the Honorable DJ Metal Market Radio Show with Raya X and Willie B. Jr. Yes, sir. So where you going to be performing at, bro? Um, 
The comedy catch April first and second, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, hopefully, February twentieth at the punchline for the Kenyon Thompson Showcase. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing some more shows at the score maybe in March or April. So oh, just look out for that. Add me on my page and uh, will it be comedy or will it be junior? Uh, should it pop up. For sure, for sure. And I have it down there uh, so everybody can see it. Man, I appreciate you, man. Shoot, I'm about to get out here, man. I got the munchies. I smoked enough weed to where I really need to go eat. So uh at this point. And don't and don't forget <laughs> the dog, don't forget the dog video at the end. Oh yeah, I I'm yeah. definitely you know I'm definitely putting that in there. Gotta put <laughs> that dog video in there. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You said that too. I'm gonna drop it right in the end too. All right, bro, bro. Uh shit, man. Any any shout outs? Um shout out to your show, man, and why your ex. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah, man. And shout out, shout out to T.I., man, for doing this thing, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to T.I., man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely shout out to T.I. Yeah, they're putting in that work. Yeah. Niggas, niggas ain't playing with his ass right now. I'm not, I'm not mad at him. I'm not, I'm not mad at him at all. I hope you keep on doing it. Like, like just let these people hate. Like, they, they mad because they ain't mad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. Right. I ain't mad at either, but I'm not mad. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean that dude is made, made though. Like it's it's fucking crazy how much uh he got, but still it takes. I mean he could be doing anything in the world. That's what he want to do. So I th- I think we should support him. Right. Oh, shit. But all right, bro. See y'all later. I'll let you, Ryan. I'm out of here. All right. Hey. Peace. My man, Willie B. Man, got a nice crowd in here tonight. Yeah. And we got black and white people. I think black and white people are different though, because when white people meet me, they kind of think I'm a gangster or something. But when black people meet me, they think I'm stupid. <laughs> my mama mad at me because I just recently lost my job five years ago. The older she get, the more she like to argue. I think she's about 35. <laughs> my daddy got 10 kids, my mama got one. <laughs> and people ask me all the time, why your mama didn't have any more kids? I said, because my daddy didn't stay long enough. <laughs> I tried to borrow some money. I went to the loan office. I filled out the application, there had stupid questions on there. It said, reason for loan, and I wrote, Broke. <laughs> and it had another stupid question on there. It said, married, unmarried, or spouse? And I checked, unmarried. And it said, for how long? And I put, forever. <laughs> the reason I'm broke, because I just bought me a new car. I'm talking about brand spanking new, fresh off the lot. At Enterprise, it was a rental. <laughs> they repoed it. <laughs> My mama said, how they repo a rental? I said, because I didn't take it back. My car was messed up. I couldn't get it started. I tried to crank it up. It said, eh, eh, eh. But it kind of turned over, so it wasn't a starter. I'm thinking, well, maybe it's the battery. But the radio came on, so it wasn't the battery. So I called a mechanic to come over to check it out. I gave him $10. He gave me the $10 back. I said, why you give me $10 back? He said, put some gas in it, dummy. <laughs> I have a low tolerance for pain medicine because it made me delusional. One time, it made me so stupid that I was riding around looking for my car. <laughs> when I got out, I found it. <laughs> I had my phone with me. It was messed up. I took it to the Verizon store. I like, hey, can y'all fix this? And he was like, yeah, I can fix it. Took it home and it started working. I said, why you say that? He said, because this is your house phone. <laughs> I bought me a smartphone, cause my phone was stupid. And I called this girl, I think she was stupid too, because I told her I lost my contacts, and she said, what color? And I said, some black, some white, uh. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean 
mean contacts for my ass. I'm talking about contacts for my phone. And she said, when they start making contacts for iPhones. <laughs> I know a lot of people got Facebook. You know how you take a picture on your smartphone and make a profile pic. But you remember the slow phones where it took about a year? You know how you take a picture on a slow phone and send it to your email and then you go to files and then you go to pictures, right click, <laughs> copy, save as, Facebook, make profile pic, right click, paste, load, save, complete. The time you get the picture on there, you look like somebody else. <laughs> I hate going to jail. The police pulled me over for something stupid. I was driving on the highway, he gonna pull me over for something stupid, like speeding. <laughs> I was going so fast that he said, tell me one good reason I shouldn't take you to jail. I said, wait a minute, jail? Don't folks go to the hospital first? <laughs> he said, hospital, you not hurt? I said, you hurt my feelings. <laughs> He said, you got your license? I said, yeah, I got my license. He said, you got your insurance? I said, yeah, I got my insurance. And then he said something I never heard before. He said, you got your registration? <laughs> I said, registration, what's that? He said, police never asked you, have you ever had registration before? And I said, I ain't never made that far. <laughs> Once they asked for the license, the conversation over with. <laughs> hey, my name really B. Thank y'all, y'all have a good night. Cause we behave like animals in a cage Mainstream media in our ray FDA plus the USA They cast spells on the home of the brain Three layers over there for minimum wage And I can't vote for the games we play And I can't vote for a better place And a rat race pace ain't no time to pray Cause the spelling be spelling out the life we may Cherish the moment of a wonderful place Cause the bar ain't worried about the stakes today Cutting the grass ain't keeping them snakes away Only me and you can we the people Only me and you can we the people only me and you can, we the people.